Hi, this is Sid, and in this uh, walkthrough, I'll show you how to do the quest uh, where you gotta stealth and follow the kid. This is one out of three cork quests. I really recommend to bring with you uh, this stealth equipment. You can find it uh, in the Shaker shop in uh, Kakariko village or uh, some stealth uh, potion you can make uh, with uh, a lot of stuff like the, this uh, grass uh, or uh, these shrooms this one up there okay let's start it's really 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 tiny and it's of uh, the same color of grass so it will uh, it won't be that easy to follow him you gotta focus on it the fog won't help of course here and there he will stop and you might get busted the first part is easy okay he's moving fast never use the sprint there's no use and okay stop it first part is quite easy while in the end there are uh, will happen couple of stuffs that might really screw you okay let's follow the little motherfucker try to stick on the side because it will be harder for him to catch you okay Let's stop behind this tree. Now uh, a branch should fall soon. So now you just wait. Okay, okay, okay. Quick to the left. Okay, the branch fell. He will. Uh, Walk around for a while and then keep on moving. Fine. Soon it will uh, start running. Oh well, he stopped for some flower. He will get inside that. Uh, wooden tunnel don't get inside not now because in the end he will uh, turn its back and uh, walk be well, see, watch behind okay right now let's go it's safe now stick to the left as soon as you get out of the tunnel We are uh, right now in the second part where something will happen and we gotta be prepared. If you get scared uh, thinking there's a ghost or something, so we run back. That's why we stick to the left and got inside this uh, grass. First time I did this quest, it took me uh, quite a few tries. Now, make sure to keep a bow. I'm out of arrows. I'll go for this one. Uh, single shot bow. Like this one should work. 
because uh, the last uh, last part will include a wolf which might either uh, attack you or here he boosts the speed don't lose him the wolf might uh, attack you or uh, this little Korok you gotta be prepared for it best way to get rid of the wolf is to kill him as soon as it spawns right now he didn't even notice what happened he will move a bit and then run straight to the shrine we're looking for in case the wolf uh, attacks the Korok, it will uh, run around, it's pretty random, so you might get busted easily. In case you are too close to the Korok, the wolf will attack you, and this might or might not scare the Korok as well. In case you lose the sight of the Korok, just follow the text, like uh, now I totally lost it. Where the fuck is it? Well, I don't care. The shrine is uh, really close. Oh, here we are. He got in the tall grass. This way. Wait for him to get to the shrine. He will stop watching some flower. And that's when you can uh, move closer. The First time I did this quest, I entered uh, straight in the sanctuary, thus preventing me from completing the quest and uh, having it uh, to repeat. This time I won't be let down, but... so now we can just uh, talk to him. Okay, done. This is clear, the sanctuary should be a benediction, so you just get inside. And completed the quest. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if uh, this helped you. More work through are going to come. I'm gonna make a walk through showing you all the shrine location. In case you need uh, help with a particular shrine or uh, quest, just ask. I will be glad to make a video for it. Once you get out of the shrine, get lost in the woods, the fog will uh, take you back to the start. But you can see the last part of the quest by talking with this Korok.